Howdy folks, I'm uh, at it again. So let me just get this camera. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I've found. I'm very close to the Great Western Highway, uh, an old site that is 1850s. Not many people know about it. I actually heard a guy mention it a couple of weeks ago. I thought I'll come on by and have a look. First dig, first signal, and I will show you what it is. Two seconds. There we go, an old padlock. Quite old actually, looks good. Quite old. New South Wales DMR, not sure. It's got the old skeleton key, still moves, which is great. And only a couple inches down, so that is a really good sign. So hopefully we can uh, find some bits and pieces around this old site. I will keep you, keep you posted. Well, number two signal. Well, actually not number two, but another padlock. Had a few little digs, but just bits of metal. It looks like they want to keep this place secure. <laughs> Or well, they just keep losing keys, having to get new padlocks. This is a more current, obviously, current padlock. Anyway. So here's another good find. I'm in this uh, very old building. I know it's uh, probably late 1800s, I think. Anyway. A couple of padlocks, uh, a one cent piece, and this one. no idea what this is it looks like a little crossed flags looks like little flags that are crossed some emblem that bolts onto the front of something I'm gonna have to look that up I don't think it's a belt buckle but it belonged on the front of something or an emblem I don't think it's off a car could be a symbol for a company logo I don't know but it's in here it's below the floorboards so whatever it's off I would think is quite old but I will do my best to to look up something with crossed flags and let you and know I'll finish that one that was a pretty good hunt that the uh, it's about a 300 meter walk along a grassy track but that was good I got that um, old padlock which will be a good display and the old uh, emblem of something i've got to check that out one cent piece not a lot of coins but uh, i will come back because this one's this one's a good site this is i can get under the floors and there's no floors in it they were timber floors they were rotten away so um it's a good site stay tuned subscribe if you like and i will be bringing lots more share with you that find from uh, the old premise premises with the uh, timber floors and I found this under the floor what this is it's from from what I can gather it's World War one and this this badge here is a signalers badge in World War one very close to the front line they would signal back to their field marshals the position of the enemy and what it sits on is actually a backing plate. You turn it over, you can just see the remnants of a pin that went through there. There was a pin through the bottom and the top, and that's what held it to the backing plate. They would take that badge off and they would mount that to either the hat or the left shoulder of the soldier, and he would be the uh, the signaler. So yeah, World War One. I've got to clean that up a little bit more, but this one hasn't seen service, it hasn't seen action because it's still on its mounting plate. So it must have been uh, on its way to, obviously, a uniform somewhere. It's fallen down under the ground, but World War One. that's a hundred year old sitting right there.
The other find from the same little outing was this lock. I put this about 1960, I think. Still has the skeleton keyhole. Uh, I couldn't date it on Google anywhere, but, but just looking at it with the skeleton key, they started to do away with these in the late 60s and go to a more modern key, but good condition. Solid brass. I could polish it up, but uh, I think I'll leave it like that. It's a good display piece, though. I don't have a really tidy lock like that to display, so all good.